Hi, I'm Russ Spiegel and welcome to Technique Time. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my Patreon page if you have a chance. Today we're going to be talking about perfect fourths. Perfect fourths are kind of challenging on the guitar because we need to be able to play these without having run over from one note to the next. In other words, if I'm playing a perfect fourth, you don't want to hear both notes at the same time. So, what am I going to do? I'm just going to go there, fifth fret, sixth string to the fifth fret of the fifth string, and I'm going to roll, and I'm going to lose the sound of the sixth string when I do so. First finger stretch, then I bring it up. That's what we're going for. So now I'm going to go back going upwards. So like that. Now on our G and B strings we have up one fret each time. Slide down. back we have the same thing we're coming from our rolling up to our upright finger position Now, time for reverses. So we're going to go up, then starting on the fifth string back to the sixth string. First finger stretch, back up to the fifth fret. And again, you see that I'm using alternate picking Thumb in the back of the neck, as always. Going to go back now the same way. And now for the reverse of that, so starting on the fifth string. Finally, we have our triplets. So, one, one, one. One thing you're going to find is getting the separation and keeping each note even and clean and clear is going to take some time for you. Let's do our last version, which is fifth string to sixth string back to the fifth string. And back.
So that's it. You'll find that these exercises really will work you because you have to always be doing rolling, but at the same time, keeping your fingers separated, keeping these notes separated and clear, but keeping the notes ringing at the same time. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I look forward to reading any and all comments and questions. Happy practicing.